Griselle's voice drifts through the factory as workers toil away. Today, she's leafing through the pages of Grama, the Communist Party's daily newspaper. It's her job. For the past 20 years, she's been a reader for Havana's cigar rollers. It's very important. It distracts us from the monotony of our work and helps us to enrich our lives. We are here for 10 hours a day. And while we're here, we don't know what's going on in the outside world. So this helps us a lot with that. Rollers may keep their hands busy turning out Cuba's prized cigars, but their minds are left to wander. Rizel is there to fill the void, one of 300 readers who've brightened long work days in Havana for over a century and a half. The 600 artisans here cast a vote to choose the books, magazines, even sex tips from the newspaper that Grizel reads aloud. I like it when she reads something that's supposed to be funny, because she's not funny at all. So everybody laughs and makes fun of her. That's what I enjoy the most. But it's a job that Grizel takes seriously. She perfects a range of voices used for different characters, all for just $14 a month. And she chats with her listeners to get them engaged, as few have little more than a ninth grade education. I start up discussions, they tell me things, they challenge me, I challenge them. I ask them questions, sometimes riddles. I teach them vocabulary and things about life that help them, because this work is very solitary and tedious. As a reader, Griselle's part of a relaxing, old-time tradition that machines just can't replicate. Kind of like a hand-rolled Cuban cigar.